everybody, it's your boy the Twiddler, and I am finally back with a little bit of content for you guys. Um, I do want to apologize to you all. I have been so erratic the last, I'd say, month with the vacation, my back going out, uh, you know, the kidney appointments, everything that's going on. I have just got a lot going on in my life right now, obviously, and uh, I do hope that you guys are sticking around and we'll get to see you on some of the live streams here real soon. Um, I do want to remind everybody coming up in less, well, I'm sorry, in just over a month, the uh, the giveaway for the Black Lotus wall art for the Duck Race entry is going to be going on, uh, you know, and it's all based around every five dollars that you spend on the website. So if you go to the website and you spend any amount of money Every five bucks is going to get you another duck toward this huge race on June 11th, which is the day after my birthday. Um, and uh, we'll be doing something really cool. And then whoever wins that, obviously, I will drop ship one of these Black Lotus wall arts out to you. It is five foot wide, approximately three foot high. Um, when you spread it out on your wall and everything, I think that's about right about where it uh, ends up being. So, and, and I think the retail value is somewhere... It depends on the fluctuation of the cost, somewhere between 150 and 200 bucks every time that it goes out. So uh, definitely take advantage of that if you get an opportunity. Um, I also want to remind you, Modern Horizons 3 pre-release. I've got prices going on right now, guys. You need to check these prices out. Most of them are actually fairly decent compared to anybody else. So uh, it, they may even, if you check the market, they may even be better in some instances possibly not in some others, but I, I encourage you just to go check out the website. The link is down in the description below so you guys can go straight to it and check that stuff out. So without further ado, we are here tonight because I am opening this Outlaws of Thunder Junction bundle for Rusted Infection, who won this during the last pull game that I had. So we're going to go ahead and get cracking on this for him and uh, and see what we can do for him. So, guys, um, I hope everything is going well in your lives. Uh, you know, obviously, I didn't, I didn't intend to have these struggles, obviously. Uh, but, but stuff happens, and uh, sometimes we just uh, run into a little bit of uh, a little bit of stuff that we got to take care of in our personal lives. So, oh wow, looks all kinds of crazy in here. So, we will get these all taken out here and hustle up some of this stuff. Get some of this these art here and some of that some of that little punch stuff kind of weird interesting at the same time i think it's very uh unique here's your die if you're interested in your die there it is right there let me know i can put that in the comment uh when you see this uh rusted and we'll go from there so let me get everything in order here i'm going to bring up some information on the actual um, the actual set we're going to see, uh, since I was gone on vacation, I did not get an opportunity to, uh, see a lot of the pricing on this set. So, um, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge for me in the pricing, but we are going to do our best to get the best pricing that we can up here and make sure that we get everything sleeved up appropriately for you. So we've got one there, and then let me bring one more up, and then we will be good to go. Uh, guys, I know I'm a little out of sorts right now on my stuff, so just kind of bear with me. I'm getting it uh, getting it all put together. I'm going to get the commander and the standard stuff up here, and uh, we have got some good pricing on it. So it looks like, uh, looks like what we're going to end up looking for is what well, Terror of the Peaks Extended Art, Tiny Bones, uh, showcase, Tiny Bones, Final Showdown Extended Art. Those are all over 20 bucks. And then when you look at the Commander side, uh, not so sure what we got over there, but it looks like the Commander side's not so good. Lightning Greaves has got a few bucks. Uh, Command Beacon, uh, maybe Veveran, Voice of Duality. But we've got these, uh, these prices up here, so we'll check some stuff out. It does look like we got quite a few cards in the $10 range, so... Let's see what we can do for you. All right, Rusted. Uh, here is your standard, uh, your standard land pack. 
let me know. I will uh, send that out to you if you want it, or I will take it and put it in my book bin. Uh, looks like you've got uh, the key. The key to the vault is what it looks like. Is your uh, your um, your promo card in there? And then we've got let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine. We got nine packs. How many packs are supposed to come in this little thing here? Let me double check. Because nine seems it is nine. Okay, cool. Look at that. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm used to the eight, the eight or the ten. Um, didn't know about the nine though. So, all right. So, again, you can tell hey, this is my first bundle I'm opening. So, let's get some stuff out of the way here. Let's get to cracking. See what we can find for you. Get some stuff sleeved up and uh, hopefully we'll hit you some good stuff in here. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, on Friday nights, I do, on most Friday nights, I do a uh, mystery pool game, and in that mystery pool game, you can win bundles. Uh, you, they are, it's only $6 a pull, uh, $30 for five, and when you join in for the five pack, you get put on a wheel for a whole bunch of prizes at the end of the game that you don't get since you didn't buy in, uh, or that you wouldn't get since you didn't buy into the game, but it's like extra prizes and stuff just for buying in, so... Um, and, and it's kind of what everybody really comes to the stream for is the, those bonus prizes, even though there's some good stuff in the game itself. So we've got, there you go, the key to the vault. Hey, you had your promo card in there and then the key to the vault right here. Uh, let's see, key to the vault is not on the top list, but we'll put it off to the side and we'll check out some of the other prizes buried in the garden. And it looks like a, a, a Lila undefeated slick shot right there. That is your uh, rare... Uh, foil, uh, a braided bluffs, and your your um, your art card. All right, and the rest of your janky jank here. All right, pack number two. Pack number two, getting into Rackish Crew, Outcaster, Green Blade, uh, Red Rock Sentinel. Breaches the Blast Master, the Blast Maker, the Blast Maker, Stan Sandstorm Salvager. There you go, Sandstorm Salvager. That is your mythic. Drink them if you got them. Uh, I don't see them on the top, but we will uh, check the value of it and sleeve it up properly. Skewer the Critics. Outlaw's Fury is your foil, and there is your art card. All right, next up, pack number three. All right, get through your janky jank down here. And we've got Slick Sequence, Bandits Hall, Shackle Slinger, Betrayal at the Vault, Stinger Back Terror. Stinger Back Terror. Uh, let's see, another one I don't see. Clear Shot. There's Stagecoach Security Foil. And then, oh, there you go. A nice little foil island for you there. And a human cleric. First uh, token that I've seen. So we didn't get interesting. Okay. So it looks like instead of an art card, uh, you got a token. So, all right. So it looks like not all art cards in all of these. Interesting. Okay. See if we can get you any wanted cards. That would be kind of cool. You know, wanted Griffin. Get all your little janky jank out of the way here. Congregation Griff. Uh, Gila Corser. Gila, Gila. Sheriff of Safe Passage. High Noon. There you go. High Noon. Don't see that on the list. Three steps ahead. Saw that one the other day. Oko. Thief of Crowns. There is your mythic. Drink him if you got him. Very nice. It's a that's I think that's called the newspaper newspaper version right there. So uh, I do not see Oko on the list currently, but we'll I will check some of that stuff out. Rattleback Apothecary Foil Festering Gulch and your art card. Right, put all that with your janky jank. Pack number five. 
It looks like looks like these have the tear corners. I'll have to try that. Try that and see and make sure. Get your janky jank out of the way here. Badlands Revival. Badlands Revival. Lively Dirge. Treasure Dredger. Great Train Heist. Great Train Heist. Uh, Decisive Denial. Corrupted Conviction. Foil. Uh, Abraded Bluffs and a Treasure Token. All right, let's see. Does this have... I think it does. Let's see. It does not. Okay. I've seen a bit in the back here, and I thought maybe that's what it was, but apparently not. So. All right, get your janky jank out of the way here. We got uh, Scale Storm Summoner, Raucous Entertainer, uh, Binding Negotiation, Binding Negotiation, the Gitrog Ravenous Ride. That is your mythic. Drink them if you got them. All right, and a transmutation font. Very cool. Transmutation font. Another mythic. Drink that if you got it. Very nice. Uh, essence capture. A foil baron Bertram Greywater. Very cool. And then a forlorn flats and mercenary token. So not too bad. We've gotten, what, four, four mythics so far? Yeah, four mythics. All right, we'll have to check the value on those a little bit later for you. Second, sleeve them up, get them into your box for you. All right, take a look here. Get your janky jank out of the way. Verification. Verification of Baron Bertram Greywater. Rambling Possum. Mobile Homestead. Mobile Homestead. Rush of Dread. Quiltage. Oh, wait a minute. Skipped one. That is your rare, by the way. Hypothesize and a foil quilled charger, forest, and an arena toy. That's a janky jank card right there. Bunch of junk. Nobody wants it. It's an ad. Gabbage. That's what we call it. We call it in the MTG world is gabbage or cabbage. <laughs> However, you want to look at it. All right, more janky jank in the way here. Intimidation campaign. Uh, Shepherd of the Clouds, Bovine Intervention, Caustic Bronco, very nice, take that, nice little rare there, and Fell the Mighty Paper, Newspaper, Intimidation Campaign Foil, and then a Plains and a Mercenary Token. So it looks like they're making, uh, they're making actual art cards a little harder to obtain. But I think it's kind of smart to split them up. Make, make something a little more uh, rare. I see a, a nice little foil back there. Janky jank. Got Rattleback Apothecary. Plan the Heist. Servant of the Stinger. There you go. Oko the Ringleader. Very nice. Another mythic. Drink them if you got them. And there is Hindering Light. Along with the Key to the Vault Foil Rare. Take that. And then Jagged Barons along with a Gnome token. So there you have it, folks. I uh, appreciate you swinging by and checking it out. Uh, Rusted, I will get this stuff all sleeved up for you, put back into your box. And uh, you let me know if you want me to add it to a current box or get it shipped out to you. Guys, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, we have a lot of really cool things going on Tuesdays and Friday nights. I promise you we're going to be getting back to it all really soon. Uh, and uh, we're going to start having a lot more fun, just like we used to do in the past. If you get an opportunity, please visit www.twiddlersplace.com. Check out the pricing. Most of it's really, really good uh, and very competitive, and uh, I usually, if you buy stuff that's not to be opened right away uh, and to be shipped right out, I usually get it out in the next day or two. So uh, have at it. See you guys on the flip side. If it's a mythic, drink them if you got them. Take care of yourselves.